Well, look at that. A subscriber sent me a cool package and something I bought off eBay came in, so let's do an inbox video. The light's pretty harsh over there, but it's a lot better over here, so let's do the video over here. So this is the first package. If you ever want to send me anything, you can send me something to my address right here. It's also on my the About page of my YouTube channel. I opened this up thinking that this was the package I bought off of eBay, like maybe they had to split the boxes or something like that. Maybe it was too much to put in one box, but this is kind of a surprise. Normally I like to open things on the inbox video, so sorry about that. I accidentally opened this already. Oh wow. Oh nice, a little relay. Oh, that is awesome. So you plug that in and this should be controlled. I'm drawing that. It's actually pretty cool. I, I might see about rewiring this though because I have some other ones that will fit in, fit in here and I might really be able to use this socket. So I might not use it in this configuration. But yeah, it looks like it is... It lights up whenever you hit this button and it puts power to it. Actually, I don't know. I might be... Oof. I might be able to use it like it is. I just had an idea. Oh! I see some vintage stuff. Oh, ooh. Ah. The business answer Apple leasing. That's an old little from 1981. That's kind of cool. Video computer system. Wow, a catalog. I have a lot of Atari paperwork and stuff like that, but I I never seen this before. That is really cool. I'll definitely put that with all my other Atari stuff. Apple computer. Good reason to pick an Apple. Oh, that's pretty old. I assume this is probably from 1981 also. Let's see if there's a letter in here. I don't I might have opened this upside down, I'm not sure. I don't see a letter though. It's interesting how you never really have these anymore. I mean, I guess nobody would ever mail them back these days. And probably many people didn't even mail them back then. But basically you'd fill out like a little survey and maybe get something back. Usually it would have stuff like, where did you hear about the game? Where, where, who? told you about it or whatever and it's just to judge like how strong word of mouth is. Kind of cool, 1981. I'd like the paper. The paper is really nice. It's from 1980. Cool. It says HP on it. Looks like a USB cable. So this might be something kind of cool, like a small little computational device. Oh, it's a camera. Wait, Hewlett Packard made cameras? I had no fucking idea. Wow. Holy crap. Digital. I might have to tinker around with that. One twenty eight megabyte SD card. <laughs> wow. I'm thinking about doing like videos going back through all my old digital cameras that I have because I have a few Mavicas that use floppy disks so that might be kind of interesting. That is so cool. I, I had no idea that Hewlett Packard made cameras. I guess it makes sense because they make so much cool stuff anyway. It's such a cool little bag. Ah, I remember these. I have one of these cameras, actually. I guess now I have two. <gasps> Expires 1986. I think I might be able to find a way to, to develop this. Use it and develop it. Disc protector. That is really cool. This still has some film inside of it too. It's a very interesting holder they have here. Looks like it's um, 
uh, pressed plastic or vacuum formed plastic or whatever. And then has like this weird styrofoam powder on the top. It's kind of, it's kind of strange. That is so cool. Oh, that's kind of an intricate styrofoam piece up there. Not expected that. $55, $60 at WB Drugs. Model 4000. I'll definitely look into that. Might be able to put that film to use. Ooh, Argus. Is that good? Ooh, colormatic settings. Even if it's not good, I like it. This is really cool. Oh, look at that. It's so cool. Wow. I've never seen something like that before. Oh my god. I wonder if there's a thing saying how many pictures are left. Well, I don't feel anything moving inside there. I guess that'll be for moving the film. Yeah, there's nothing inside there. Well, little, uh, little bit of film came out. It's probably to be expected. Oh, a little bug. Oh, so you do this. Wow, that's kind of sweet sticky like that. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's probably sticky. It's probably in need of some fixing. This is definitely some heavy bakelite. Ah, we have a patent date. Two two nine eight seven eight seven. Uh, two million and some. That seems like nineteen forties, maybe. I'll look that up. I looked it up and looked at like the patent was filed in the nineteen thirties and granted in nineteen forty two. So yeah, about nineteen forties or so. The patent before that is patent two two nine eight one zero seven. It's probably from before that because since it's a lower number, so that might be like nineteen forty, nineteen thirty nine or so, if my memory serves right. Oh wait, it's actually, it actually has shutter control, so that's what it is. Okay, nice. This is probably is fine then. That's really neat. I'll see about getting some film for it. I'd never really even heard of this brand before. Oh. Made in the USA, so maybe not the best quality then, but still, it looks pretty good. That is so cool. Thank you very much. This is so cool. I'll definitely see about putting this to use. And it's really cool that it comes with the case. That is really, really nice. Up until now, most American made cameras that I found the lenses are all really shitty and whatnot and just don't fill me with confidence like a couple of the Kodak lenses I have for my Bolex are kind of like falling apart which is not that great so it's nice to see one that actually feels kind of like it's nice quality Microsoft oh easy pick SC 500 Looks like a super, super cheap camera. Definitely good for something. Maybe strap that to a balloon and have it tethered and take a bunch of pictures and then catch it when it falls into a cornfield or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Looks like we have a Polaroid land camera. Forgot about these. Maybe that's another good example of... Uh, I guess these are American-made. 
Might be another good example of maybe a camera from the US that actually works. Um, yeah, it looks like it's made in the US. I have a couple of these, and but this seemed to kind of break down. Ah, that cloth didn't break down. Sweet. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. It's a shame they stopped making film for these cameras, but no oh well. I always forget how these things come apart and go back together. But that's pretty cool. Thank you very much. This is some really nice photography stuff you're giving me. Oh, Ectolite 10. That's kind of nifty. Ah, with that same weird foam covered bottom. This is going to be a pretty, pretty film oriented video because the thing I bought from eBay was a bunch of film. Oh, that looks pretty old. I'm having a really hard time reading that. I suck at cursive and this is very difficult. Weird. Well, I was able to find it. Looks like it is an old company, an old German company. I believe it's pronounced Vogtländer. And I might, I'm probably saying that wrong. But it's an old, an old company from like, started in the 1750s and went out in the 1970s. So it's at least from before the 1970s. I would guess 1920s or 1930s. It's pretty cool. Here's something similar from the 1950s or the 40s or so. Basically, you, you put your pho photograph in, in, in there and you have one on each side. Oops. And so you can actually have two pictures per, like, frame. It says cut film holder, Photac 5x7, and this one is a Baco, Hollywood, USA. I was wanting to make a, actually I'm planning on making a little box camera and use some of that, uh, that um, oh, what's it called, like photographic paper and have really interesting little black and white pictures made. So I could just go around with a bunch of that paper and have the paper inside here and like have, uh, I had to make a shutter maybe, but I guess I might be able to start using this though. It's a smaller one. They make it a lot smaller. It'd be kind of cool. It's always cool to have more stuff that I can turn into camera equipment and whatnot. So thank you again very much for all of this stuff. It is so cool. Now here's what I originally thought that other package was. It's a bunch of film that I got off eBay. Only paid about $35 for 11 reels of 16 millimeter film. Check this out. That's like $3 a reel. So awesome. Mm, yeah, maybe this light is too harsh. Ah, whatever. I already have another table set up. Well, anyway, so I paid about $3 a piece, eh, maybe a bit more. And, yeah. This is all some old 1970s, 1980s films. This one is... I don't know what that says. Barn Burning. Okay, so that's an old 1980s one. I've looked at most of this stuff, and it seems a lot of this is from the 70s and 80s. Maybe some educational films or whatever. Legend of Magic Knives by Encyclo Encyclopedia Britannica Education Corporation. That's a small one. Oh, it even comes with a little booklet. 1971. And it smells a little bit of vinegar syndrome, but it's not too bad. So hopefully a lot of this film could be salvaged and I could get like an interesting little... Um, copy from them. That one does not seem any vinegar, 
doesn't, it doesn't smell like vinegar syndrome at all, but the way it's all crumpled up, I, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Bear. That, that, that's all it is, just bear. Well, I guess it's something called bear. These little old um, reels are what caught my attention. I mostly bought these for the reels, because I figure some of these can probably get thrown away. 80s the bear. Okay, so that was for that other reel. And this one is a plain white envelope. That's probably some educational one. I think this one's really cool. Look at that, it's like so tiny. Um, showdown at Sweet Rock Gulch. Sounds like a western. And this one. It even has a green later on it. That's kind of cool. Uh, doesn't seem like it's actually written on here. Ooh, one of these has a tin. Or two of these have tins. That's kind of cool. That is a nice reel. Look at that. Family in the Purple House. First print. 1970s. That is some crunched up film. Oh my god. Eastern Fine Grain Release. Positive safety film. Spock River Anthology. Spook River? I don't know what that is. Spoon River Anthology. Okay. Spoon River. That's such a weird name. I like this reel too. I don't know. I really love the reels. Especially this one. It's kind of almost like a purplish color. Because what I'm wanting to do is, I figure some of these can probably be gotten rid of. Because some of these are probably pretty bad. Or I can put them in a kind of core or something like that. But I would love to put my films, like the ones I make, onto these types of reels. Beginning responsibility, things you share. Hmm. Being responsible, don't share things you want to keep. That's the best way to be responsible. Hmm. Lots of splices on that one. 1980, barn burning. Wait, I thought the other one was barn burning. Maybe the... Uh, oh, barn burning too. Okay, so... We have multiples. Fiddles and whim... Fiddles and whimmy diddles. Fiddles and... That's a mouthful. Ooh, a brown reel. So that's pretty cool. Although, this is pretty well overshadowed by this subscriber package. It's so fucking cool. Oh my god. This makes me so happy. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a note in here, so I don't know for sure who this came from, but whoever you are, thank you very much. This is some very awesome stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya. And that comes one of the funnest parts. Setting up the thumbnail. Now remember, never put anything in the bottom right corner because that's going to be covered by the little timestamp. Just a little tip for you.